Good morning. So today we're gonna talk about warm colors and cool colors. And we're gonna make a really awesome picture of a portion of a hot air balloon. Um, it looks something a little bit like this, but we're gonna use some different colors. So warm colors are red, yellow, and orange. And why, why do you think that red, yellow, and orange would be warm? What makes them warm to you? Think about it and maybe give me some examples. Like what kinds of things do you think of when you see these colors? Some of you might say the sun. Some of you might say it makes you excited and happy. Um, and then cool colors are purple, green, and blue. Now what kind of things come to mind when you see these three colors? When I see blue, I think of water, and I think of the ocean, and I think of jumping in the pool, especially on a really hot summer day like we've been having lately. And then um, you might think of the night sky, or winter and snow, and grass for green. And what happens when you walk on grass barefoot? It makes your feet kind of feel cold, right? It feels good, especially when it's hot outside. So that is the difference between warm and cool colors. Today, we are gonna focus on our cool colors. So you will need a pencil, some markers, a piece of paper, any piece of paper will do, and a ruler. So let's get started. I'm gonna start out by measuring this side of the paper, I'm gonna sit at this direction, and I'm gonna measure this side of the paper, and I'm gonna measure every three inches. So you're gonna take your ruler, and you're gonna go one, two, three. This is your inch side. So you're gonna lay it right next to your paper, just like this, and you are gonna mark every three inches. I'm gonna mark it on the three and the six, and then down here, we don't quite get three inches for me, and that's fine. So I'm gonna, it's about one, two and a half. So I'm gonna keep it at two and a half right there, and then I'm gonna start measuring every three inches. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, okay. So to get it so that it looks Kind of like this. I measured from the corner to each of those little hash marks that I made when I measured. So I'm going to go from one corner to that line and I'm going to draw a nice lightly drawn line. Barely see it, so let's see. Can you see my line? It's not very dark because I want to be able to draw over it. I'm dropping you. There we go. And every single mark I made on the sides, I'm going to measure right to that line, to that corner. And I'm going to keep going all the way around. Miss Ashley's come to join us. Just like this. So you should have something that looks a little bit like this. And now we're gonna make the separate little squares. So I'm gonna go back up to the top. And now I'm gonna measure every two inches. And I'm gonna do that on each of these lines that we drew starting all the way at the corner, going all the way back to the edge.
Alright, so now I have all these little hash marks right there, and now I need to connect it. And I'm going to do it in kind of a, a round circular motion. So you don't need anything to, to trace, just kind of draw a nice light round circle trying to connect each one of those little hash marks. It may not be perfect and that's fine. There we go. So you should have something like this. And the reason we draw lightly with our pencil is because if we make a mistake, we want to be able to erase it. And it's easier to erase a nice light line instead of a really dark drawn in line. So now you should have this. So I want you to take your markers, your blue, your green, and your purple, and go ahead and you can make any kind of pattern using those three colors that you want. I'm gonna kind of go in a spiral pattern, I think. All right, so check back when you're done and we'll move on to the very last step. So now that it's all colored, I'm gonna go back over my lines with a black marker just to make them a little bit more prominent and stand out. Here's the finished product after I've gotten all my black lines on there. It looks so cool, doesn't it? Here's the one I did last week. I love this assignment. I think it looks really neat. And I hope you guys had fun with it. And don't forget to turn in your assignment at the bottom of the assignment page. So don't turn it in on Dojo. Send it to me through the part that has the actual instructions and directions on it. There's a little thing that's linked. It should probably, it'll say here and you hover over it and click on that and that will take you to the turn button. I will see you guys next time. Bye.